Hello, beautiful people. How are y'all doing out there? Thank y'all all for being here and joining me. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't, okay? Um, so, today we are going to do your forecast, okay? It is time. This will be September 15th through September 18th, okay? Any and everything is in this deck. I actually made a new, um, I made a new deck. So, I'm trying to see, um... I'm just putting new messages in there, not more so about love, but just really whatever spirit had led me to, to pull and led me to write out, okay? These are sage. These are good to go, all right? So, yeah, there's any and everything that's in these decks, okay? Please keep in mind that these are general. So, maybe something that happens to you that's supposed that I said is going to happen on Wednesday maybe happening on Thursday, okay? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not channeling Thursday, but like I said, it's all about energy base. It's all really about what spirit needs you to know, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into y'all's reading. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for uh, subscribing. Thank y'all for liking the video. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. I also do have a Twitter account, which I do post collectives over there. Also, that's where I book um, readings through email. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited, you guys, to do this. And I'm very thankful for my platform. I'm thankful for y'all showing up for me all the time. Y'all are truly the best, all right? So let's go ahead and get into your reading. Spirit, angels, and sisters, please protect me as I do the collectives day to day. Please allow them to know and be prepared and be aware of what they need to know on their day to day. All right? So what do you have for the collective spirit? What does the collective need to know and be prepared and be aware of at this time? So let's see. All right. So September 15th on Sunday. What can the collective expect? September 15th on a Sunday. All right. September 16th on a Monday. We got September 17th on a Tuesday. And then September 18th on a Wednesday. Spirit, what do you have for the collective? All right, so we got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay? Let's go ahead and get into your reading. So let's go ahead. September 15th on a Sunday spirit, what's the collective need to expect? Ooh, karma paid them a visit, okay? So karma is knocking on your person's door or has been knocking on your person's door. Let's do this one. So, karma has paid your person a visit, collective, okay? They have paid your person a visit. And let's see. So, it helps clarify these messages for the collective's highest good. All right. So, let's see. September 15th on a Sunday. It says, karma. What about... Karma paid them a visit. Yep. Show sure did. There's a lot of chaos going on with somebody. They feel like a disaster, going through a downfall, okay? They feel like they're probably living living a bad life right now, okay? But you're, this person is going through a lot of karma, all right? Things just feel so out of place, all right? Some of you, they feel like, you know, the karma is losing you because it's like so much chaos in their world that maybe they're not able to really you know, say much to you or they're not able to really focus on your feelings right now. But there's somebody here that, that maybe have realized that you blocked them or you're moving on and you don't have nothing to say. Maybe you tell the person to stop calling you. Okay. Karma paid them a visit September 15th on a Sunday. Yeah, somebody here is trying to find some type of guidance. Okay. This is my here who's trying to find some type of mentorship, some type of wisdom or something. Yeah, because somebody here hates being away from you. They feel like maybe the karma was losing you because maybe, you know, they had other things going on and they weren't, like, tending to the connection. But I feel like some of you, they maybe have ghosted you because things were going on behind the scenes that you didn't know or maybe they didn't want to involve you. But whatever your person is going through, they're looking for some type of mentorship, okay? Somebody here could be giving them advice on what to do, maybe how to get up out of this situation or a situation with someone else or they're just their life circumstances, September 15th on a Sunday, karma paid them a visit. Yeah. So whatever it is, I feel like your person is trying to leave that behind. 
okay? Or maybe maybe live that way of thinking behind. It could be a cancer. They're trying to depart and move on from something else, okay? Karma paid them a visit September 15th on a Sunday. Yeah, and for some of you, it's, it's losing you, okay? Losing somebody who really loved them and cared about them. You're very compassionate to this person. Water sign energy so far. There's somebody here who may look at you as somebody that... that you know, you were their second chance. It's like God, like they asked God for like certain things and certain qualities in a man or a woman, and and you got that, and, or they or they got that. You were there. You were sent to heal this person to make them better, but they shitted on you for some of you. September fifteenth on a Sunday, Karma paid them a visit. Yeah, this somebody here who has to learn some type of lesson. Okay, they have to learn some. Yes, yeah, somebody get Karma for sure. Somebody here could be going to jail. I keep picking up somebody going to jail. Karma paid them a visit September 15th on a Sunday. Yep, so this person's whole world, some type of sudden change, 555. Some type of sudden change, some type of awakening, okay? They feel like their life is a complete disaster right now, all right? And they're, they're praying to God, like, God, please get me out of this. Please, I will do better. God's like, mm-mm. I'm going to let you sit in this for a minute because you don't, you don't learn your lessons. What's the tower? Karma paid them a visit September 15th on a Sunday. Look. Ace of Cups in reverse. This person feel like you don't love them anymore, Collective. They don't know how to get to your heart again. And that's what's killing them inside. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? That came out quickly. Because see, somebody here was only thinking with their you-know-what. Instead of realizing that they had a real love a, a person out here who really did love them and give a fuck about them but this person was only thinking about their own desires now that, and then now it's like the universe has been like well that's what you wanted right you didn't want nobody to really love you and take care of you and you know all the things you asked for you was too busy worry about your tool so use that tool They're like, no i want a second chance i need my collective i need my baby back what's the ace of cups anybody see you you try to give this person genuine love some of you, you have to put your feelings on safety because your intuition told you the more love you keep giving out to this person, they do not appreciate it. So some of you took your love back. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, things have changed on your end. Some of you don't don't longer feel the same way, or you just or you you know that it's not worth it. Some of you are too focused on your bag right now, building um your own company up, your your business up putting more energy into your work because this person was so damn sneaky. You know, this person, you know, try to charm you and try to keep you stuck. But some of you got the got your mindset that mm -mm, you can no longer keep me stuck. You cannot hold me down. You cannot hold me back from what I want to do. So that's what it is. Some of you, you didn't, you got tired of just giving your love. So you blocked it off. And that feels like the end of the world for this person. You have released them and let them go. But their world is turning upside down. And they're dealing with a whole bunch of other chaotic things behind the scenes that you may be like, whoa, I didn't even know he was going through that. I know she was going through that. Okay, let's move on to September 16th on a Monday. It says you posting someone new got them in their feelings. So some of you, that's what it is. You may post somebody new or they think you could be dealing with somebody new. And that is going to like possibly trigger your person. All right, that's their karma though. You know, that's their karma for the way they treated you. Now, this ain't for everybody, but this is a, for somebody particular, okay? September 16th on a Monday. It says, you posted someone new, got them in their feelings. Yeah, they're trying to heal from something that you've done or something you said or did, okay? Yeah, somebody here could be in their feelings. Got the silent treatment. You posted someone new, got them in their feelings. Yeah, it's this narcissist, Okay? Maybe they were they were hoping that you was not going to be able to move on from them ever. But you are being protected from anything that they, you know, try to do, try to say. Okay, this person cannot get close to you. Because at one point in time, this person was only worried about themselves. They could have walked all over you. They could have chose somebody else over you at one point in time. So now you're like, you know what? It ain't even about you. I'm doing what makes me happy. But whatever you was trying to do, you was trying to make me mad. when you was dealing with her or dealing with him or posting him or posting her. Now I don't want nothing to do with you. You should have thought about that. Okay, September 16th on a Monday. The collective posted someone new got their person in their feelings. Yeah, somebody here may message you, okay, and see what you got going on. You posted someone new got them in their feelings. Page of Cups, yeah. There's somebody here who's going to try to come in here and be like, I'll change for you. Why don't you respect me? Why are you Why are you humiliating me? But you're like, bro, you do everything under the sun. You posting someone got them in their feelings September 16th on a Monday. Yeah, somebody's in a lot of regret. 
they maybe never thought that a day would come that you'd be on somebody else's shoulder. They're going to be coming here begging you for another chance to even maybe like, I'm too busy. They're like, please, I'll, I'll be an option. Like, just, just don't let me, just don't take your love away. What else? You posted someone who got them in their feelings. Yeah. Could be a earth sign, water sign, Aries, Scorpio, or a Libra. Very heavy masculine energy. Okay, there's somebody here who's thinking a lot about what they've done, how they juggled you in the past. And I feel like for some of you, they're ready to come here and tell you the truth. You know, maybe about why they walked away or maybe, you know, finding some truth about if you're really walking away this time. But you, you got somebody contemplating their lot in their head. Maybe they're, or for some of you, you know, if you didn't post anybody new, maybe they're just waiting on that day that the collector's going to be posting somebody new and that may trigger their feelings, you know? Four of Swords. You posted someone who got them in their feelings. Yeah, see, they're, they're thinking about you moving on and being happy. It's like they're going to have like a like a sudden like dream or some type of like vivid picture that you're going to move on and be happy. It's like you're going to have all the things or you're going to be doing all the things that you have told this person that you were going to do. But it's going to be with somebody else. And that's what they're going to be thinking about. I'm telling you, somebody here about to beg you so bad for a second chance. I'll never screw up again. I'll never put you last. I'll never. I'll make you a priority. When you call, I'm coming. I won't go. You will not have to worry about anything else. What else is this person thinking about with the four of swords? You posting someone new got them in their feelings. Yeah. See, because you don't really need this person. You don't need them for a damn thing. And they know you are financially stable. You look good. You get attention. Okay. You're, you're everything and more. So they're going to be thinking of all type of ideas, all type of ways of how to win you back. Some of you, they may try to give you money or spend a little bag on you or something like that. But they don't want you posting anybody new. Or if there is somebody else new, they feel like it's competition. They're going to try to show you like, look, I am actually a good person. I'm really not a fucked up person. I can actually take care of you. But you're like, well, I, I gave you years. I gave you months. I gave you so much of my time that I don't have no more time to give. Okay. September 17th on a Tuesday, it says they'll be back knocking at your door. So somebody here is pulling up on you, okay? They're coming back knocking up on your door, possibly trying to see what you got going on, probably, possibly trying to see if anybody new is at your house. Maybe they feel like, oh, I don't recognize that car. Let me let me pull up um, at the collective's door. Like somebody here going to be really probably in this paranoid energy. Yeah, somebody here about to be toxic. So when they pull up, they may end up being toxic. September 17th on a Tuesday. They'll be back knocking at your door. I told y'all. And, and when this card flipped out, it flipped out all spirally. Somebody here is going crazy. Just know they're going to be, you might not even really be like, like make, make feel like this person is attractive. Because they're going to be doing, they, I'm, for some of y'all picked up this last time, they might be abusive. All right. So just be sure that, you know, you're, when they pull up, you you got video recording or something. Because it's somebody here who who can't let you go. They can be very abusive. They may be unpredictable. You may think like, well, they they gone. They gonna, they gonna leave me alone. Mm -mm. September 17th on the Tuesday, they'll be this psychopath will be knocking at the collector's door. Yeah. Because you blocked them or you don't have nothing to say to them and they don't they don't they don't know what no means. This is not here could be very suicidal or depressed or feeling like they've lost you, they're hopeless, okay? Because it's like they're confused. But it's like you it's like you don't have a reason to be confused. I've told you over and over and over that you cannot keep playing with me like that. You know, now they're burnt out, feeling empty. But whatever they try to do or whatever tries to come towards you, just know that Archangel Michael is protecting you. Okay? You having nothing to say is very triggering for them. You moving on is triggering. Okay? But it's like, bro, when you have me, and I mean all of me, and can get me anytime. Some of you, this person had a key to your own, to your place or a key to your valuables. And it's like, you show them, like, look, I, I'm giving you, if that's like my lifeline. Like, I'm giving you a, my space where I'm supposed to be at peace. And you still not acting right. September 17th on Tuesday, they'll be back knocking at the collective's door. Yeah, because somebody here is very weak. They're very insecure, okay? This is my here who is very low vibrational. And they cannot keep you off their mind. Collective could be a Leo, a Gemini. They're having many, many negative thoughts. Could be having many sleepless nights. Okay, they'll be back knocking at the collective door September 17th on the Tuesday. Yeah, because this person has a lot of emotions. Like, 
could be a Gemini. This might be, this has been a painful ending, okay? They know they betrayed you when the whole time you was the one. You was at wish fulfillment. Now they don't have that no more. Now they're trying to take away how to heal things with you. September 17th on the Tuesday, they'll be back knocking at the collective's door. Yeah, they rushing in. They don't care. They're very, I mean, this very impulsive energy. They're like, I want what I want when I want it. And that's crazy, you know? Why is this person going to be back knocking at the collective's door September 17th on a Tuesday? Because they're struggling without you. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're struggling without you. But I thought somebody here is going to keep working. Yep, they're going to keep working hard. Even though they're struggling without you, they're going to continue to fight for this connection. They are feeling like the loss of you, Collective. Give me one more. They'll be back knocking at the Collective's door September 17th on a Tuesday. Yeah, because they don't, they're, it's, they're unclear. You're not making things clear for them. I mean, some of you, you have said, I'm done. I'm moving on. You've blocked them. You told them, like, look, quit texting me. Quit calling me. I have nothing to say to you. It's done. For some reason, it's not clicking with this person that you're done. They have, they hold on to these fears. It's like you keep popping up in their dreams. They don't know what to do. Okay? Somebody here is preparing to come towards you because they want to take some type of control. Okay? September 18th on a Wednesday. Told you. Want that old thing back, baby. Okay? Somebody said, I want that old thing back. Okay? God, that's the song, Knocking Boots by H-Town. Somebody here could, could be from H-Town or you maybe visited H-Town in that Houston. All right? But somebody here is definitely like wanting... Uh, this give me Aquarius. When I think of H-Town, I think of uh, Megan. And I also think of Beyonce. Because I was saying like Texas and Hotties and all that. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking about that. I think, I, I know, uh, I know for a fact that, excuse me. I know that, oh, uh, shoot, I can't think. Megan is an Aquarius and I know Beyonce is a Virgo. So you could either be an Aquarius or Virgo or dealing with one. But whatever it is, they want that old thing back. Okay. September 18th on a Wednesday, wanting that old thing back with the collective. Yeah, they in their emotions. They worry. Some of you, they want their family back or they want to work on having a family with you. They very fearful right now. September 18th on a Wednesday, wanting that old thing back with the collective. Yeah, Spirit said today they want it back, okay? So it's like by Wednesday, they're going to be telling you like they want to they wanna be in your energy. They want to be in the moment with you. They want to have fun with you. Okay, they want to live their life with you. Yeah. Look, two of cups. Yeah, this person, they want to come back and make it right. They want to make it right. Somebody is very emotional behind the, the scenes when it comes to you. September 18th on a Wednesday, wanting that old thing back with the collective. Yep, they want to reunite. They want to have fun with you. This might here who may want to celebrate something here with you. Maybe have to build some type of friendship with you. Wanting that old thing back, September 18th. Mm-hmm. Can I make it up? This person misses the love that you provided for them, that you gave to them. That harmony. Some of you, that that passion, that the way you value them, the way you put them on the map or put them on a pedestal. Okay? This person will forever have a deep love for you. Okay? Forever have a deep love for you. Yeah. This my hair looks you somebody they want to have a family with, and they're holding on to you for dear life. This right here don't want to let you go. We've got Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini. I said Aquarius energy earlier. This person is rushing in towards you because they want to build some type of family with you. Kind of give me that Ashanti and Nelly energy, but I don't know. Wanting that old thing back. Yeah, they're going to fight for you. you got Leo energy. This person is going to, to protect this connection at all costs. It's going to be a challenge, maybe some competition, or they feel like it's some competition, but they're going to fight through it, wanting that old thing back with the collective. Yep, they want to heal with you. There's that Aquarius energy. They got faith. Some of you, they're going to be messaging you, like, look, I'm going to fight for you. I don't care what it is. Tell me what I got to do, because somebody's obsessively, the uh, look, they're obsessively trying to get you back. You stay on this person's mind because you are their wish fulfillment. They want you back. And like I said, they're going to fight. By any means, this person is going to fight for your love. Let me pull two of these. Is there any other messages that the collective need to be aware of between September 15th to September 18th? So let's let's clarify each. So we got karma paid them a visit September 15th on a Sunday. 
Yeah, your twin flame. So your twin flame is definitely going through some karma. Look at the fire. You can deal with the fire sign. All right, it says 11-11, twin flame, runner, chaser, divine timer. Yeah, because this person is very childish. Very, very childish. Very immature when it came to y'all's connection. So now they got to deal with some type of karma. September 16th on a Monday, you posted someone new, got them in their feelings. I told y'all, look, that came out quickly. This person, y'all gonna hear from this person by Monday. Okay? They're going to stay, you know, probably looking at your story, maybe see you with somebody else, or they may have heard that you're with somebody else. So they could be like, are you with somebody else? Are you dealing with somebody else? Like, tell me what's going on. Now they're so curious to know what you got going on. So I do feel, or, or for some of you, they just, before you move on, maybe you've already said, look, I'm moving on, I'm doing me. And maybe they're like, okay, that don't sound right. The collective ain't never, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say you never say anything, but maybe this time you maybe use your verbiage different like your wordage different towards this person so now they're gonna be curious like okay well or maybe they'll have a dream that you possibly posted somebody or, or i don't know it's just something's going to be pulling at this person to make them feel like you got somebody else and maybe when you cut them off or block them or maybe you said what you said and then you blocked them they're like oh shit wait hold on something ain't right so i feel like y'all gonna get some type of message of concern it's gonna be a message of concern like what you doing who you with what's a hunter song <laughs> okay like that's the type of energy that they're gonna be possibly coming in with september 17th on a tuesday they'll be back knocking at the collective door yeah spirit said continue to love yourself because this is a whole red flag that's showing up at your door okay there's somebody here who is still gonna they gave you all the signs you need spirit said you need to love yourself right now take back control don't let this person back in your life don't let them in your house because wherever they went to, they didn't get no good advice, okay? This person they love from a very toxic demeanor or what they saw growing up. And you don't want to live that toxic mess anymore. You just want to be free and happy. <clears throat> so keep taking back control and be happy. And that's why they're coming knock at your door because you took control. You're not stunting them no more. September 18th on a Wednesday, wanting that old thing back with the collective. Mm -hmm. Because some of you, they've been out here messing around with somebody, being 22, 11 on the timer. They've been distracted, kept you waiting. So now they're going to be trying to call you, see what you got going on, stalking you, hanging up, calling from different numbers. Because whatever cycle they've been in, they're so tired, they're drained. Especially they're going through this karma. They're like, oh, I don't want this no more. I don't want to deal with this no more. Wanting that old thing back with the collective September 18th on Wednesday. Yeah. Some of you, they, wanna, they know that guilt from sleeping around with others or pushing you away or making it sound like they were so busy when they really were just laid up with somebody else. That shit is eating them up inside. Because some of you, you knew. You knew that they were messing around. You knew they had somebody else. You knew that. Now they want to apologize, feeling ashamed for hiding their feelings from you. Reminiscing, missing you, feeling ashamed. Yeah, because now you're giving them a cold shoulder. Some of you have, have said goodbye. You didn't chuck the producers. You're walking away. Now look, they upset. I'm hearing it's too late to apologize. All right, so that's what I have for y'all collected for y'all week ahead. Please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I love updates. Give me feedback in the comments. I love that. All right, um, and I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Peace.